I'm here with Tom and Fonzie Deegan outside Clonmore, Templemore. These are two uh, Charlie calves born to embryo transfer. Uh, absolutely excellent calves. They mightn't be in fine fettle today because it's got a bit of a setback with coccidiosis. It, it causes severe scarring in calves. It's something you need to be aware of. But look at the rear end of that calf. That calf is just uh, a little over five weeks old. Uh, they were born to embryo transfer. Bought the embryos. One was at a, a Christmas uh, raffle. Uh, this one here, 3136, that calf is by... That's, that's uh, Mark Rains. Yeah. CF52. A CF52 calf. <laughs> and this heifer here is a major heifer. Yeah, just an absolutely fabulous uh, rear end on the calf, this, this calf here. Just looking at her here, again, a bit of a setback, but obviously just treated now, and uh, will come back into fine fettle. Uh, the biggest issue with um, muscle index, though, on animals is with extremes, you uh, can have an issue related, negatively correlated with fertility. So there is a gentle balance in terms of uh, maternal traits and uh, subsequent uh, uh, fertility. Uh, we need to watch for this in terms of the whole selection process. Uh, this here, the ideal type of recipient, and again, a, another scan at a later stage will reveal the suitability of this animal to take another embryo. Uh, you do not run the risk of uh, having to do caesareans on some of these animals uh, as second calves. Do you have a caesarean today to get these calves out? Uh, because of the cost of the embryos and the value of the pregnancies, uh, the client here would not take the risk of uh, running a, a normal delivery of the calf. Because you can see here the rear end of these calves uh, the pelvis wouldn't be great enough on, on a first calver to take the calves out. Uh, but as second calvers, that opportunity would pertain. Plenty of milk here with the Frisian crosses uh, uh, on both uh, Charlie and Herefords to give you plenty of milk for these calves.